It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Green Bay Packers. And it comes your way next. It's the only fan-owned franchise here in the NFL. And tens of thousands of those fans have their cheese heads on. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And exciting matchups in the AFL, Brock. Our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience, more than likely is going to come away with the win. Jason Sanders is out, ready to kick this one away. And here we go from Lambeau. Jaden Reed to return this. He stopped on the return of the 27. To the Packers offense, getting set for their first drive. Bringing them out, someone who wowed last year in his first chance as a starter, Jordan Love. For three years, well, we waited on Jordan Love. He got to watch one of the greats do it in Aaron Rodgers, and it wasn't until last year they finally gave him the keys. Well, and the wait was worth it. He put on a show a season ago. 32 touchdowns, just 11 interceptions in a year that nobody anticipated the Packers and so many of their young players could grow and emerge into a playoff team. They did just that. Nobody questioned Jordan Love's physical traits. It was the accuracy. It was the anticipation. It was the nuance to play in the position. He answered all of those and more with the breakout season a year ago. First down play, nets him five. It's going to be second and five. You know, Kay, one of the reasons it's so hard to run the ball in the NFL is to move grown men off their spot against their will. You get a run play like that, you've done your job. You've moved them against their will, and you've set yourself up for some later success. Into the hands of Romeo Dobbs. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And it'll be first down, Packers. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. First down throw. Here's Love. Quick slant taken in by Jones. And he's marked down. Looks like at the 32-yard line. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Kicks the handoff, now low. He's got Watson. He's out of bounds right at that 25-yard line. Second and three now. Loves to throw again. This finds down. Come up first and ten. Hand off here to Jacobs. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby. But you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win too. Singles and doubles, you add them up. You could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run, it may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl, right, you know it's a tight window, Kate, 
But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. His drive has been excellent. A few shots now. It's starting with six as they come up on it. First and goal. Jacobs. Has the Green Bay touchdown. The Packers finish up an excellent opening series. It's a Josh Jacobs touchdown. What an outstanding opening series, partner. They just wore down that defense as they marched their way to the end zone. Yeah, it took a whole bunch of that opening script to find a touchdown, but it showed just how well designed that script was. It was the right sequence of plays to keep that ball moving and find the end zone, getting your offense established in its top gear right here early on. Brandon McManus on for the PAT. The point after splits the uprights. And the Packers will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Now is McManus to kick this away. D. Eskridge to return it. They'll have decent field position to begin with here. Rockies tackled just beyond that 30 yard line. So the Dolphins offense headed out for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the fifth year lefty out of Alabama, Tua Tonga Vailoa. To his early career, yeah, it was known for injuries. Maybe not being as durable and as available as you want in a top 10 pick. But the last few years, he's taken great strides to rewrite that narrative. Remember, this was a guy that rewrote the record books in Hawaii, won a national championship at Alabama, and nobody questioned the accuracy of that left arm. It was just the availability well, that he's had to rewrite, and he's done a heck of a job. Opening carry for Devon Achan. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Kid, I'll never forget walking into the Hall of Famer Dwight Freeney's meeting room with those defensive linemen. The late, great John Tierlink, his coach, he had a little sign up in his, in his office, and it was sacks, and that money sign was the S, because ends and D linemen make their money with sacks. But you win games when they stop the run like that for a tackle for loss. It's a complete to his man, Tommy Kill. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. We hear about basketball on grass so much, so much more of the space and speed coming to the NFL game. That play's so indicative of it. Get that point guard in the open field and let him do his thing. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Off the play fake. He's got Smith. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. Kid, I can promise you that's one of those play-action plays they've left over the week during practice. The both quarterback and tight end went to bed last night thinking, man, I hope this one's called. And when it is, I hope you have just a little space to operate. That play-action works beautifully on the tight end, the beneficiary. is caught by Jalen Waddle. They rip off a big chuck of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Now, right there, that's what you want to see on your opening drive. Boom! Connect on a big shot, and instantly, you set a tone that you're not going to be afraid to be aggressive in this game today. Boy, do I love that. Set themselves up well for an opening drive touchdown here. Brock gets first and goal. Putting one of the tight ends in motion right. The pass is incomplete, but hold on here. We've got a flag on the field. Here's the call. It 
He was too far downfield at the time of the pass. Got to stay within a yard of the line. That'll back him up. So now from further back, another try at first and goal. Running it after the penalty. And he drives forward for a little, maybe to the seven. He'll get three, but much work left for him on second and goal. headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. So now, here's third and goal. Out of the gun, Tunga Manoa. Finish off their opening drive. No hesitation on that throw. He got the guy he wanted right away, and he got it to him for the touchdown. You know, it's great, Kate, to draw plays that have all sorts of different options, but it's even better when you don't have to get to your second read. His first broke open just like they planned, and that's six in the end. Jason Sanders to try the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Dolphins start off well to tie things, 15 yards on the pick up there. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on the drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. He's pushed straight ahead, and that's maybe a yard at most. It was Tyrell Johnson with the tackle. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. New set of downs is not off to a real good start here, Cates. And I know every yard counts in this league. But that lone yard, it's not going to really change what they're thinking about doing here on second down. Love from the gun. Completes this one to crash. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. They get 13 on the pickup. And it'll be first down, Packers. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. Play fake, it's love. Taking a big shot for the end zone. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. I know a DB in the stat sheet loves to see INT and not PBU, 
But as soon as he realized a pick was impossible, he does the next best thing and knocks it away. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. On the handoff, here's Jacobs. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. He had the first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. First and ten now from the 30. Love now to throw. Has it to his back. Here's Josh Jacobs. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Let's call it the quarterback's best friend, Kate. Games like that on the screen aren't possible without everyone doing their job. One missed assignment is the difference between a big game and being dropped for a loss. First down from the red zone. He's got a man left. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. The game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. So after the five yards are marched off, here's first and 15. They're going play action. It's incomplete. Should have been a catch downfield, but off his hands and to the ground it goes. Pass was thrown for Christian Watson. And that makes it second and long. True story, Kate. After practice one time, the head coach in the NFL said, I'm done with my fault. I'm done with my bad. No more of that tapping on your chest. That was an example of the quarterback delivering a perfect pass. And the receiver, do your job. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. A less than ideal third and eight here. Shotgun now for Love. Gets this one to Watson. And they get this down to the seven yard line. It's a double digit game, 10 yards, and now they've got first and goal. Here's Long. This throw is cut. And that play is brought to a halt, so they're going to say, at the five-yard line. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short game. I get a win, too. Sometimes, you can get to win-win. Jacobs running behind center. And the look outside yields no fruits. They make the stop near the line of scrimmage. Can't manage even a yard on second and goal, and they'll have third and goal from the five. Well, now things get a little dicey for this offense. One down left before a big decision to make. You continue to try running it against a front that stopped you, or are you now forced to put the ball in the air? Bails out of the pocket quick. McManus on for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. 
And the Packers take the lead here, 14-7 in the first. On now is McManus to kick this away. Eskridge on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Now we're going to see the Dolphin offense for their second drive of the contest. And after the impressive drive we just witnessed, you got to imagine that they are hoping to respond with something similar. Yeah, and I don't love to use the word can't. Right, but this can't be a three and out for this offense right yeah, here. They gotta yeah. give their defense a chance to catch a breath and turn some of the momentum in the building. On first down, they're gonna start out with a chance. He cuts it to the right sideline. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. One of the game's biggest plays right there as they get the markers reset. And they can go ahead and stay in that huddle. We're at the end of the first quarter. It's a 14-7 game. We'll return to historic Lambeau Field after this. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Dolphin football as we begin. They'll try to attack this deficit starting with first and ten. He's caught behind the line for a loss. Hey, look, in the right situation, you catch a team off guard. Well, this could be a tremendous play for some big yards. <laughs> but in the wrong situation, you can hit the mouth right behind the line of scrimmage. Second down carry for Aitchin. He's brought down a little short. No, actually, they do give him the 10-yard line. That's a pickup of 17 yards, partner, and it makes it first and goal. You know, Kate, okay, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right, they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger, but that back remains hungry. And he has the catch. It's both feet in. That's a touchdown. The Dolphins can tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead. Tyreek Hill, the touchdown. If you're going to complete that one successfully, Brock, you need the perfect throw. Just the right touch. And you also need a guy who can go up and get it just like that. Yeah, you need to be able to muscle somebody off the ball if you're not alone. And call me a little bit. Now we'll pause. The officials want to take a good look at this and confirm it was indeed a touchdown. At least right here is where having all those camera angles comes into play. We're going to get a much clearer picture thanks to all the shots we've got. Yep, technology, everybody's friend right now. We get to watch it again and again. Unlike these officials, we've got to see it once in real time. We just have to see, is there clear enough evidence to overturn the call that was made down there on the field? No change to the call on the field, so that play is going to remain a touchdown. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. The point after splits the uprights. And the Dolphins tie things up at 14. Sean Nixon with the return. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. The Packers ready to run their offense back out there. 
And with each team coming off a touchdown and scoring well early on, we've got the makings of a bar burner here, Brock, if they can keep this up. Yeah, and as a quarterback, as an offense, it doesn't mean you overtry, but you just know, hey, man, our defense is having a hard time slowing them down, and we've got to step on that accelerator. First and ten now from the 30. Throwing off the play fake here. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop in. Now after that snap, there's an injured Dolphin still out there. So we're going to get a stoppage here as they go out to look at him. Offense to the line for second down. Running right, here's Jacobs. He's descended upon quickly and dropped after what looks like a yard gain. Stopped by Chop Robinson. That tackle made by the rookie from Penn State. This drive in some serious trouble. It's third and 12. Here's Love to throw. Complete the other And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 22 on that one. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. Love looking to pass. This one tipped in by Kraft. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. It's a 24 yard gash, and it gives them the first down. They were in this 12 yard out route K at the combine, well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time? on rhythm and accurately. Well, that was teaching tape right there. We'll drive it forward, but won't get beyond the line. Long time standout, Calais Campbell there for the stop. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and 10. When you rush the passer, it's kind of like tracking down a runner. That same pass, same athleticism comes to life. He looked pretty good hunting his prey right there. On second down, Jacobs. He started to get through the lane before it closed. Three yards there. It's Cater Kohu up to make that play. Call that a modest improvement. Three yards that time, but still a third and seven upcoming. Love now. Completed over the middle. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? They'll run for it. Jacobs. And he's stopped out at the 16 after a small game. So the run doesn't get the yardage. It's a turnover on down. And what a battle of wills we just got to see. Fighting in the trenches on a fourth down run. Trying to play conservative, keep it on the ground to power it across. But there was no overcoming a front just as equally motivated to get off the field. The Dolphins and Tyreek Hill headed back out on offense. Their last drive contained a heavy dose of the ground game. A little old-school dominance on the way to a touchdown, Brock. Let's see if they stick with it or if they go aerial this time around. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They motion the tight end over. First down, time to find the order throw. It's fine, Smith. And they touch him down. Looks to be about four yards short of the six. 
that's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. Second and three now. Before the snap, some early movement. Let's see which side gets tagged with the penalty. So keep that second and short play in your back pocket. So the penalty goes ahead and gives them the first. defense in today's NFL. Not only stay in their assignments hip pocket, but to make plays on the ball as it arrives. He was challenged with an intermediate throw, and he swatted away with ease. Sticking to the air. It's stuck by Law. On target to Waddle. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. situation here. It's third and two. Trying to pick it up here with a chance. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, they were hoping. They were hoping to get outside and meet those guys at the second level. Well, someone from the second level came to beat him on his turf. And that meeting didn't go so well. Now it's Jake Bailey who's out to punt this for the Dolphins. Keyshawn Nixon returning this for the Packers. Begins his return at the 16. And he's brought down before the return gets far. It's scored as a 51-yard punt. And the Packers will take over possession. Now here comes the Green Bay offense. They passed on the field goal, didn't get it on fourth down. Interested to see what they do if a similar situation arises on this next possession. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Jacobs gets it to start the drive. And he found some running room for a nice game. Call it nine yards. Looks like a first for a moment. It's second and one. From the 34. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. This one goes for three yards. And it'll be first down, Packers. It is so hard for these defenses. I don't envy them at all. I try to monitor where these running backs are. Are they chipping? Are they delaying their route? He's such an underrated part of their overall passing game. Has him on the quick hitter. And it's a nice little chunk here. Six yards. It was Tyrell Johnson with the tackle. Well, nothing very fancy about that. That's just a textbook curl route. I think they were running curl routes last century, and it's a play that works a high percentage of the time then, just like it did now. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 43, finds his man. It's crap. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. He gets six on that play. 
And that's good for a Green Bay first down. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. And they're going to hold him down just shy of the 40. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it'll be first down, Packers. to throw again. Mm, that throw behind his intended target. No luck finding his receiver that time. So it'll be second down. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Love out of the shotgun. Watson with the catch. He's got a gain of six there. Stopped that time by Marcus May. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Play fake. It's love. Buying some time. It's time they're going to get there and they drop it. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. This was all reaction time, Kate. That linebacker just explodes off the snap. This running back's a good athlete, but he had no chance with the perfect timing of that linebacker to get home for the sack. We're to the two-minute warning from Lambeau. The Packers with the football. So fourth down, here comes Daniel Whelan to send it flying for the Packers. And that's out. We're just waiting for the spots. They're going to say it cleared the sideline over top the 14. The Dolphins' offense ready to go as they take the field. Now their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. will start out with a first and ten. Tonga Bailoa now working from the gun. That's caught. Devon Achan. And this is going to be a turnover. The defense forces the big play. Well, that didn't take long, bro. One play, and they're back out there. Well, that's how a defense can make you awfully happy as an offense player, especially when you screw it up and you fumble. The defense picks up that offense and puts them right back on the field. The Packers and Josh Jacobs about set to go on offense. And talk about a dream position, Brock. Heading out with first and goal waiting for him. Now we have a stoppage. No challenges inside of two minutes and a half, but the replay official wants to take another look at this on their own. Yeah, pretty bang-bang play out there. It's tough to see exactly what happened on our first look in real time. But you know what I like here, and I do appreciate, and these officials are so good at let the play just play itself out yeah. before calling it dead. Now all the replays and the camera angles will give us such a better idea of really what happened. So the nice defensive play, all for not. He was down first, no fumble. All right, here we go, second down. Shotgun snap now to Tonga Bailoa. Taken in by Smith. And they take him down at the 24-yard line. You know, they really love that drag route because he's one of those guys that can count on not only to make the catch, but create after the catch. 
If they don't close on him quickly, he can have a lot of yards before someone tracks him down. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Out of the gun, tongue on my lawn. He lets a heater go deep, middle of the field. The disaster of Burden, he knocks away the deep ball, incomplete. Ronnie thought that look at all Kate downfield. It was just an excellent defensive play to deny him the ball and knock it away. That is good on good. Jake Bailey on the punt. And this will be his second effort of the contest. Starts the return at the 34. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And they'll take over with minimal time remaining in the half. A nice starting spot for the Packers this drive. First and ten coming up. Love from the gun. Gets this one to Watson. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. Just before halftime, we get a timeout taken. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Throwing love. Throwing for the end zone. And he spots that deep shot away, but he better not celebrate just yet. Looks like his contact drew a flag. They may still get this yardage. So halftime has to wait one more snap. That pass interference call means we've got an untimed down coming up. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. That's halftime here in Green Bay. The Cheeseheads with plenty to cheer about as their Packers had the lead. Now we'll send you south to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 Russian champ, Josh Jacobs. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. On now is McManus to kick this away. Eskridge on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Dolphins set a running back to Vaughn Achan, getting back to work. That passing game they went to in the first half, it's going to need to be firing to start this second half, too, as they chase this lead. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. They'll start the drive with A-Chan. And he's brought down for a loss. Perception and reality, Kate. The perception out there from the public is edge rushers are defined by their sacks. The reality in the locker room and in the huddle is you can be defined by your relentlessness. And his motor never stopped. Helped him track it down for a loss on the outside. A-Chan again on second. And his drive up the middle gets him about three. That was Xavier McKinney that time with the tackle. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. That's coming to him. He has the first over the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He picks up 28 on the play. And it'll be first down Miami. 
Wow, certainly found the weak spot in the coverage with that catch. Really goes to show they trust every single player, receiver, running back, in that case, tight end, to be a playmaker in this offense. Now head up, first and 10 from the 42. Chain on the inside give. Strong running inside the 30. It's a fancy footwork there for the touchdown. The Dolphins take the lead right away in half number two. Devon Achan with the touchdown. There's time to chat him about poor tackling later, Brock. And I probably will. And you probably will. Coach probably will give him the earful about it as well. But let's not let the missed tackle take away from excellent effort he had on that run. Yeah, it really was his effort to force that missed tackle. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that's the key. And open the door for that touchdown. As soon as he slipped that stop, his mind was focused on one thing and one thing only, the end zone. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Dolphins take a four-point lead. Nixon now to return it. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The Packers and Jordan Love set to take over again. They're out and set. First and ten. A give to Jacobs on the inside handoff. And they bring him down, but there's a flag on the field. But, partner, they say there's holding on every play. You just got to look for it, right? Uh, that time, though, we did not have to look too hard. Holding penalty is going to make first down twice as tough. They're 20 from the marker to start things out. And now a run with Jacobs. He doesn't get much beyond the line, a yard at most. Stopped that time by Marcus May. A pickup of just a yard on first and 20. Still 19 to go as it brings up second down. Shotgun now for Love. Bails out of the pocket quick. Now he takes it. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. When a play breaks down, every once in a while, you got to be able to make a play with your legs. His offense counts on that ability to evade pressure and occasionally make plays just like that one. They're set up at the 35 now. Fistful of jersey on that play, and it's going to end up costing them. Love now to throw. Couldn't connect right side. It's incomplete. Looking for his wide receiver there. So now it's second and long. That's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage waiting for it. They were thinking interception for a second, and incompletion is still pretty good, too. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Hand off here to Jacobs. This is a hand for about five. Javon Holland there to make the stop. 
Give him five on that play. Still need three times that now on third and 15. South and West, right, Kate? And I like on third downs, north and south. You start going east to west and eating that wheat, you could run into problems just like that. The Packers send out their punting unit. Pulled in at the 20. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. The kicking team got downfield quickly there. He didn't manage much on the return. And it'll be Dolphins football. Starts out with a first and ten. Out of the shotgun, a gift to AJ. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. That was Xavier McKinney that time with the tackle. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. time with the tackle five yards on the play they could just do that again 32 coming up these are the kind of runs Kate that just soften up a defense keep working on them keep working on them and eventually you're going to break one of those counters for even bigger yardage third down run from HA and the defense gets there to force a small loss if only this defense could look like that on every play, Kate. They were angry, motivated, focused. And they took that anger out on him and this offense, forcing a fourth down. So the Dolphins ready for the punt. Jake Bailey's going to kick it away. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. He's got this at the 27. It's a nice running on that return. He gets it up past the 35. The Packers ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. A nice starting spot for the Packers this drive. First and ten, coming up. Love now. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Never ever a great look when your quarterback's picking himself up a few seconds into a drive. They're going to need a lot more fight on second down and a whole lot of yardage to get this back on track. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Trying again, following the set. He's on the move. He's keeping it. You know, that may have been a situation. You look back on it, he watches the tape the next day, and he's got to find a way to throw the ball because his running ability, while it gets him some yards, is not enough to get the first down. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Love, looking to pass. Complete beyond the marker. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. A 
A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. When you have an out route versus man coverage, you're just hoping and just praying your offensive guy could turn the hips of that defender. And once you see that, you got to cut it loose and let it go, just as they did right there. Still on the move, coming to the line for first and ten. Here's Long. Little off center, his man just couldn't adjust to it. This one misses the tight end. And now they face second down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Shotgun give now to Jacobs. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Play running back in this league, well, you've got to have tremendous vision. We saw it twice. Once to find the lane of field, and then to get to space and break off some extra yards. Offense set for a first and ten. Working inside the red zone. This throw is caught. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the wall. Give him about 16 yards on that game, Bronk, and it sets him up with first and goal. Takes the handoff, now Love. Tough one. Couldn't bring in the touchdown clean. It falls incomplete. It's going to be second down. I just hate that. I just hate to see that. Everything on the play was done so well. Everybody did their job. But you got to finish. You don't get many chances to make that type of play for your team. you got to come through on that touchdown. Now he'll throw off the play fake. You can't blame him for biting on that play action. Brought down to one yard line. You're expecting it to be a run. Which made that pass play the perfect call. Show those defenders what they want to see. What they're expecting to see. So when they give them that good old run fake and pull it back. Oh, it is touchdown offense. McManus on for the extra point. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Packers push their lead to three. Now is McManus to kick this away. Eskridge on the return. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. The Dolphins and this running back headed back out for a new series. Receiver in motion. Off the play fake. Here's Tungo by law. Finds his fullback. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. It's always nice to see teams still employ a fullback. I love rewarding the big guy with some touches during a game. 
They earned those looks. That was a well-run route, and he showed some soft hands to bring it in. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Two and out from the gun. That won't be caught outright. It's incomplete. Trying to find his tight end. And now they need to get four on third down. Yeah, I know nobody's perfect. All you have to do is listen to me and how many words I screw up. <laughs> but you certainly expect those throws of that length to be 100%. They've got to be borderline automatic in this offense. Going on third, Tunga Bailoa. Brought in along the sideline. Just need an official ruling. And they said catch. Great play. 12 yards on that play and a good call. And that's him the first. That's pretty impressive, Kate. I mean, to have the awareness, the body control to not just secure the ball, but to keep both feet down on the sideline. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Here's two again. Got his target. It's Hill. He's able to cross midfield before going out. It's second and five. Sticking to the air. It's stuck by law. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. It arrived as the ball did to break things up. And it'll be third and five. Coming up. And the quarterback's going to count on 99 of 100 times completing that short, simple route to a tight end. But even the shortest and simplest of throws will find a drop at some point, too. Here's Tunga Bailoa again. He's holding out there and he'll drop it. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. Wow, it has been such a good day offensively for the guys up front. That's actually the first sack by this defense. And now comes the real question mark. Will it lead to more? Or will this offense learn a lesson and get back to the rhythm they've been in protecting? And he's hoping for a well-placed strike. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is it far. Wow, special teams highlight here. What a kick down in it at the one. The Green Bay offense about to get started once more. They certainly had no issue scoring, but their opponents have been right there with them. So they can really use some more points on this drive. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Jacobs running behind center. They'll cobble together a yard there. Tackle made by Jordan Brooks. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. This close to your own goal line, they really don't want to risk a sack. That means, well, one option. Run it and buy whatever breathing room you can. They stick with Jacobs. Good little right up there. Looks like about six. Devon Holland there to make the stop. It's a gate of six, and they only need half of that now on third and three. A touchdown aside in that frame as we run out of time in the third quarter. The Packers with it. They have the lead late, but this game is close. Defense with an excellent opportunity and a stop here on third down. Love out of the shotgun. Finds his man, it's Craig. And he's brought down after 
after a nice gain and a first down. Small pass, big result. This dude is just a juggernaut with the football, and once he gets rolling, it gets tougher and tougher and tougher to stop him from playing add-on with those yards. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Love from the gun. Quick slant taken in by Dobbs. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Play fake. It's love. He puts some juice on a deep throw. Down the middle. Nearly an interception on that play. So now they have third and short. <laughs> I think I could see his eyes from the booth. He was envisioning the return and simply dropped it. You've got to secure the pick before anything else. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Turning to Jacobs on third. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. A five-yard gain on the play. And that's good for a Green Bay first down. I don't know what it is, Kate, but I love third down runs. I really do. I know the receivers don't always like it because money down, they want the ball. But a third down run for a first down could be so demoralizing to that defense. Thrown on first down, Love. Has him on the quick hitter. Give him 13 on that play. And it'll be first down, Packers. On the gun, it's a give to Jacobs. And he'll only find one yard up the gut, second down. Going run again with Jacobs. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of two follows up a gain of one. And now they're left with third and seven. Shotgun now for Love. Watson with the catch. And he's going to be across midfield, close to the 45 before going out. How many times, Kate, do we see those routes, those horizontal east to west routes, just get that first down on these critical third down situations? It takes tremendous eyes, tremendous speed, and a tremendous want to by the defense to stop that short. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And there was nobody down there to get it. Punt hit at the seven, but continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Miami set to take over once again on offense. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the puncher, Brock. They're hopefully going to give them some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Tua off the play fake. Flushed out of the pocket. He's going to tuck it and run. And he's going to get this up to the 26 before being taken down. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. It's a good thing you woke up to it. Able to make something out of nothing and at least keep it moving forward. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Tua setting up to throw. Completes this one to Hill. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. It's a pickup of 11. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. Mark 
Rutgers reset. Ball at the 37. Here's a chain up the middle. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. These big D tackles in this league, they love weaponizing their size right in the middle of the field. It is so hard to clear lane against them. And once he got his paw on him, it was dead on arrival. Second and ten now. He's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stops. As an offense, you don't call a screen, Kate, expecting the game just a few yards. You call it, expecting to break off something big and substantial. But it's up to that defense to stay ahead of it to keep it contained to something much smaller. Case in point right there. Let's see what they draw up on these third and seven. Tungabailoa now working from the gun. And this is incomplete. Two Kate, you feeling lucky? <laughs> well, the quarterback is because he just dodged a major turnover. That was an easy pick that was simply dropped. They'll bring out the punter here. He's fielded at the 14. And he's brought down before the return gets far. The home team's headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. They're out and set. First and ten. Off the play fake. He'll throw. Oh, put some heat on this deep ball. Left side. And that's going to be knocked away. Incomplete. Target that time. Jaden Reed. So that brings up second down. I don't fault the look downfield at all. I mean, that's just a situation there where it's a better defensive play than the offense executing couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Throwing love. And he's not quite that fast. Let him just a bit too much. That's incomplete. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. One of the biggest keys when you get a tight end running the corner route is he's got to set his angle, Kate. Wide receivers are so nifty, so smooth. Speed's really the priority for tight ends. It's really setting that angle, so creating that leverage so that QB knows exactly where he's going. That's a job well done right there. Running on first here with Jacobs. And the power play up the gut only results in two yards. That's a pretty good stop on first down. This defense now gets a chance to dictate, and that's what all the great defenses want to do, Kate. They want to dictate it on their terms and not just be reacting to what the offense is always doing. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. On the handoff, here's Jacobs. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. They push it forward for a yard, and that brings up third and eight. Before the snap, you know, right before the snap, you may have to take off if the read isn't there. That was a great adjustment made at the perfect time for the first down. New set of downs for him from the 46. First down throw, here's Love. 
He's on the move. Took off with it again. And they take him down right along the 30. That's 16 on the pickup. And it'll be first down, Packers. Well, I can tell you what, that was the goal from the moment he took off. Kept his eyes locked on the chains and made sure he set them up with a new set of downs. Well done. On first and ten, here's Love. Couldn't connect there, incomplete. I hate those situations, Kate, as a QB. I'm looking for an open passing lane, and I can't find one anywhere. He thought he had one available. Defense did a better job of knocking it away. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Here's Jacobs. Still has room inside the 15. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. I'll tell you what, Kay, one of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do it. I got to see it up close and personal. Because of it, I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. They sent a man in motion. They'll run, Jacobs. And he's gonna get taken down near the goal line. It's a gain down to the one. Nine yards on that play. And they're just a yard out now on second and goal. Now it's second and goal from the one. Here's Love. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. I think everybody on the offense was already thinking about the next play to run as they watch that short little throw to the tight end. You really don't expect to see many of those gimmies dropped. Buckle up. It's third and goal. And off, running right, Jacobs. Goes up and over for the touchdown. The Packers make it a non-point advantage. It's a Josh Jacobs touchdown. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. And how about the other side? Beating the defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand. Yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. McManus there to tack on the point after. And the Packers make it a 10-point ball game. On now is McManus to kick this away. Washington now to return. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. The Dolphins sending their offense back out there. And this certainly isn't the rut they want to be in, Brock. All of their drives have been ending in punts as of late. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, tongue of my law. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away, and that makes it second down. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. It's a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time, or he can get two hands on it and take it the other way. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Shotgun snap now to Toga Mailoa. Connection made to Beckham. And he's out of bounds after pushing just past the 40. He picks up 15 on the play. And it'll be first down Miami.
two and out from the gun. Dump off top by his back. And he's going to step out with no gain. You know, I, I've learned over the years, defensively, they call that the camera club. How many different guys can get rallying to the football? So that last shot you see on camera, you see as many defenders keeping that to a zero-yard gain. That's well done defensively. Here's two again. Finds his man, Lotto. Decent gain here, but short of the first. Moving quickly, trying to get set again. Third and two, now Tonga by Law. Holding by Waddle. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. That play good for 17 and a first down. I'll be honest with you, Kate. As you grow and develop as a quarterback, your arm gets stronger. These comebacks can be one of your favorite throws in your arsenal. Because if you trust yourself and you throw it before that defender breaks, you know there's yards to be had on the perimeter. Down a couple of scores, but still some time left and three timeouts as well. It's first and ten. Sticking in the air. It's still the right off. He finds OBJ. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Clock running. Dolphins will hurry to the line. Here he is to throw. And the cover just too good there. Didn't find the throw that he was confident in, so just throws it away. Third down coming up. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get across the downfield. I love the pass. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. Now to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be out of bounds right along the 20. Pick up a five on that play. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. Throwing now. Has a man. It's a jam. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Now the Dolphins call a timeout. Takes their first. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. Looking to throw it. He's got it. And this one stopped at the three yard line. Miami calls a timeout here. It's second. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting that first. To throw! Etchan reels it in! And the defense is all one for a big loss. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. Again, it's sunk by law. Swings bigger than that move right there. That throw looked destined for six. And instead, it gets intercepted by the defense. The only way to get bigger is if he somehow returned it 100 plus yards for six the other way. But what a gigantic swing of emotion. The home teams returning their offense and this running back to the field. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone. 
It hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really being the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. The Packers to a knee, let the clock run out on this victory. The defense takes its third and final timeout. That's all they had, so the offense free to start running the clock down now. Lining up to take a knee on second down. Your favorite formation, right Brock, the victory formation here as he takes a knee. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot, and now you can enjoy the victory. Setting up for the kneel down on third. He goes to a knee as time winds down in this one. So this is a Packers win. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win.